Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I be sweating out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I be getting loud. Thinking every doubt, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm looking bound, can't stop me now. Man, I'm having a rough day with this <laughs> recording my intro. This is the third time I had to re-record my intro. Uh, first time I didn't even realize I hit the stop record button. I actually did that twice. And then the third time I had the camera on its side, but it was still kind of this way. So it was in like phone mode instead of video mode. And when you rotate to make it work, it doesn't fit the screen properly. So I effed up. Anyways. What's going on everybody? The weekend is here. Um, we got a Halloween party tonight, so there's not much happening, but I have to get the engine hoist down from my mezzanine with all that garbage up there. Um, it's been up there pretty much since before, well, since I moved in here over 10 years ago. Uh, I never used it. It was given to me and I, it just went, got put away. I've never used it. So we're finally gonna use it. I gotta get it down, make sure I have everything to put it back together, and then make sure it functions properly. Because tomorrow, hopefully in the morning, we are going to pick up an engine for this car. Um, I was looking specifically for 94, 95 motor, because as a lot of you know, they are specific to 94, 95, like intake, fuel rails, the front brackets, things like that, um, are different from the Fox body stuff. The block is the same and the heads and all that stuff, really. Um, it's just like the intake's different. Um, all the brackets on the front are different and stuff like that. So to find, I could have converted it to the Fox stuff. I do have a bunch of that stuff, but um, the SN stuff ain't bringing as much coin as the Fox body stuff. So it took a little bit. I did find two engines. One's three hours away. One's 45 minutes, excuse me. One's 45 minutes away. Um, the closer guy, he has the engine harness. He has the computer. He has all the brackets. He has the accessories for it. The headers are on it. He has it. It's more assembled than the other one, but it has more mileage on it. The other one that's farther away, it's got lower mileage. It's been apparently rebuilt at one point, um, but there's no paperwork for it. Um, I do trust both guys. Um, I know one guy, the other guy, I don't know him personally, but I have a friend that I know really well who is essentially co-signing this guy. So um, I think either or option will be well, good, just as long as they run. If there's an issue down the road, we can always fix it, right? push rod motors or sorry these 302 engines you guys know it's hard to kill them you know what i mean they run with white crank bearings and all this stuff like they just go you know what i mean like what do we go oh if we got to do a head gasket or some rings or things like that like the car will essentially still run maybe it'll puff some smoke who knows right maybe it needs a head gasket we're gonna end up pulling the top end well not the whole top end but the intake and everything in the front of the motor apart because we are going to put a cam in that car in that engine so um i'm looking for b303 or an e-cam or an e303 if any of you guys know anybody kind of local to me that has that let me know um because this car is going to be a driver but we're going to have a little bit of chop chop that's it we're not going any farther than that, guys. I need something I want to cruise. I want it to be comfortable, and I want it to be reliable. We're not doing anything stupid to this car, okay? But don't quote me on it. Maybe we will do some stupid shit later on. Down the road. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, with that being said, we're going to get the engine hoist down, and uh, we'll be back. Hey, guys. So, managed to dig out my engine hoist. So there it is there. The piston is here. Um, 
I'm hoping I have everything to put it back together. I hope. I think I do. So what we're going to do, we're going to open the garage. And then we're going to uh, get it outside and we're going to try to assemble it. And uh, we'll see if it functions the way it's supposed to. And then we'll go from there. So I got it assembled here. Um, as you can see, generic engine hoist. Obviously the legs just go, you pull the pins for the legs and they go in the front, but she seems to be functioning pretty good. I think I got to top up the, the fluid in the cylinder uh, cause it's been leaking, just laying around, leaking out of this nut here. Um, so we'll probably have to just top that up and then it should be good to go. Um, we'll toss that in the back of the truck and uh, we'll be ready to uh, pick up some motors, right? So. And then when we get back, we'll be able to just get it and uh, essentially drop it in. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So, engine hoist is in the back of the truck. Um, either way, tomorrow we are going to get a motor. Um, whether I got to drive 45 minutes or three hours, we are going to get a motor tomorrow. Um if they both don't work out, then I'm just going to take that engine hoist up to the shop because the other hoist, I don't know if you guys remember from previous videos when I was pulling the engine out of the C-can notch, um, the other one wasn't working that well. And I, that's been up in my mezzanine for more than 12 years. So I've never really used it. This will be the first time I've used it here at the house anyways. So, um... So that's kind of going to be it for today. Um, the video will continue on until tomorrow, uh, hopefully. Either way, I will finish this video up, let you know if I did get a motor, if I didn't. And if I don't end up going to get an engine tomorrow, um, then we'll do some more um, stuff to this. I want to finish cleaning up the engine bay, sorting out some stuff. I'm pulling the hydro boost out of this car, um, going back to a booster. And stuff like that uh i don't like the lines how they've been you know jerry-rigged together things like that so that will be going back to original and then i'm going to sell the hydro boost because guys use them all the time for coyote swaps or whatever even making brakes better in a fox you know they, they're nice right just i don't care i'm just gonna i have um my buddy mike has a 95 um that I can take that stuff from, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's a lot more simpler um, than messing with these shoddy lines. So um, that's gonna come out, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna finish painting the engine bay. I'm gonna try one more thing for the engine bay, um, and then uh, if that don't work, it's going black. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't care. But there you go. my patch is looking pretty sweet. So yeah, anyways. I'm gonna drink my coffee and uh, hopefully we're back tomorrow when we're on the road heading to grab an engine, right? So we can get this thing running by the end of the year. Yeah. All right, guys. So we made our journey, um, had to stop off a few places, got out there, I got the motor. It's in the back of my truck. I gotta try to get it out right now. Um, I don't know if I'm just gonna try to set it in here for now or on the floor. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it right now, but I gotta get it out of my truck. So um, I'm just gonna assemble the, the engine stand and everything to get it out of the truck. And then I'll show you the motor once it's in my garage, all right? All right, guys, so me and Cohen got the motor out of the truck. We got the stand all folded back up. Um, I didn't have really much room to put it in, like on the floor here. So I just set it in the car for now. There's a piece of wood on the back. That, that's why it seems kind of tip forward and the intake's just sitting on top because of the, the straps that I use to lift it. I'm gonna clean this motor up. I'm gonna clean it so it's nice and clean and painted so it's nice. You guys know me, you've seen what I do. Um, I like nice and clean stuff. We're gonna end up tearing it down, cleaning up all the brackets, everything. Uh, redoing the intake, all that stuff. So with that being said, um, here it is guys. Bam, look at it, it's got pulleys, um, alternators on it, it's got the pulley on it, it's not tight, all the brackets, everything, it's got a pump, 
I do have a pump, but it came with a pump. Um, it's got the headers, it's got the mounts, um, EGR, it's got everything. It came with the engine harness right here. It came with the computer right here. It's got the power pump, power steering pump pulley. All that stuff came with it, so um, it's pretty, pretty good. So, you know, the oil is super clean. So once I clean it up, get her nice, it's going to look uh, pretty sweet, I think. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that's it, guys. That's the motor. We have an engine, and we should be running hopefully pretty soon. I got to put a flywheel on it because uh had an automatic flywheel, so I got to put a clutch, uh, one for a clutch car and put a clutch in it. I have the trans and everything here. So pretty much just plug and play, clean it up, and uh, do some sending. And hopefully it runs good, right? <laughs> it's, it's a used motor, so, but like I said, it does look clean and, uh, you know, the guy had some co-signers that said he was a good guy, so we're good, and he was way closer, so, you know, that's it. Um, next video, we'll be probably pulling it out again and uh, getting it cleaned up, making it nice, and getting it ready to fire it up all right so thanks for watching guys have a good week